Hi, this is Eric Miller from iPhone Photography School, and in this video, you'll learn how to use the masking tool in Enlight. Now, the masking tool is very powerful because it allows you to further customize your photos in any number of ways that it's only limited by your imagination. Let me show you just some of the things you can do with the masking tool. Let's say in this photo, I want to make that chair stand out even more than it already does right now. Uh, I think I'm going to make the whole photo be black and white except for the chair, which is an effect called color splash. So I'm going to click on filters and black and white and choose a black and white filter for this photo. Let's take that one. Now, if I click on the mask tool, you'll see I get these options, wipe, apply, fill, clear, and set brush. What this allows me to do is wipe away this black and white filter that I've just put on the photo. So I'm going to zoom into that chair and watch what happens when I rub my finger over the chair. The chair turns back to the color photo. That is because I'm wiping away the filter that I applied. Now I'm doing this kind of quickly here. I'm not going to be super neat. You'll notice it actually does a really good job of not getting too much of the grass. That's because the tool for Enlight is very powerful and it is very intuitive about what you want to mask off. If I accidentally get some of the grass in there, I'll just click on apply and now I'm applying the mask again. I'm applying that black and white filter just to that one area. Same thing down here. I'm going to clean up around here a little bit where I was a little bit sloppy in between those spokes right along there. Get rid of some of this green in there. There. Well, that's not perfect, but it gives you a really good idea of what you can do. Now, in just a very short amount of time, I've made this black and white photo with a red chair. What's more, I can still continue to refine the photo beyond this. If I go to Presets, you'll see I can continue to pick other black and white filters, and it still has that mask on there. It's a really powerful thing that you can do within light. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark. Let me show you what else you can do with the mask tool in in light. Here I've got this photo of this yellow balloon on this red background. I'm going to go into the image tool and go to adjust. And tick the color tool. And let's say I want to change the color of that background. So I'm going to click on Hue, and I'm going to make that background be purple or blue. Now, I've also affected the color of my balloon. But I, uh, so if I want my balloon still to be yellow, I click on the Mask tool. Again, I'm going to wipe away the effect that I've applied to this photo. I'm not going to worry too much about that ribbon there. It might be a little bit too hard to get. I think I'll just do this part of the ribbon for right now. That's probably close enough for the time being. So now you can see I've got a yellow balloon on a blue background. If I go back to Tools and to Color, and then uh, again I can change any color background I want and I still have that yellow balloon there. That's because I'm masking out the effect from the balloon and just letting that effect be applied everywhere else. Go ahead and click the check mark. The mask tool appears for just about every single function in, in light, meaning you can do all kinds of different things. Let me show you another thing you can do. Here I have a self-portrait that I took by putting my iPhone on a tripod and then running up to the top of this hill to get the photo in time. I'm going to Image and then select Adjust. And let's take a look at the HDR filter. Now, I like what it's doing to the ground, but I don't like what it's doing to the sky. So, I can just use the Mask tool and wipe away what this filter is doing to the sky. If I do before and after, you'll see if I've missed any areas, like I missed a good chunk down here. And I definitely missed some here in the middle too. Can even get in really close and even go 
in between my legs and even in between my arms there to mask that filter effect away. Okay, that's a pretty good start. I'm going to further refine this now by clicking on Tools and then Basic and then Brightness. I'm going to bring the brightness down by dragging my finger to the left, but you'll see I'm only affecting the area where the mask is applied. Now it's a lot easier to see some areas where I missed. I was kind of sloppy. That's okay, I can go back to my mask and continue to wipe away those areas where I was a little bit sloppy painting the first time. Do before and after. Okay, that looks great. I can refine it beyond that as well if I want. I can go to color and I can just desaturate um, the ground if I want to or make it more saturated. I can change the color of the ground there if I want to. And I'm only affecting the ground because I've been using the mask tool. It is really an amazing tool. I want to show you one more thing you can do with the mask tool using that artistic filter. I'm going to select painting and maybe let's pick that one right there. Now I like what it's doing to the overall photograph but maybe I don't want it to be quite so strong on the person in the photo which is again me. So I'm going to select mask and wipe away the area around me. Now you can see the transition between the masked and the unmasked area which I don't want so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you how you can refine the brush in the mask tool. I'm going to click on the bottom option there set brush and you'll see I can select the size of the brush and up above it's showing me how big or little that brush will be. I can affect the opacity of the brush so when it's at 100 it is um, wiping away everything all at once. If I bring it down to 30 or maybe I'll bring it down to 10 it's only going to wipe away a little bit at a time. Feather affects how soft the edge is of the brush and edge is the function that allows you to be a little bit sloppy when you're painting because when you are wiping away a filter effect, edge looks for colors or um, contrast points that are similar to the area that you're working in so that it will only wipe away areas that are similar to what you're doing. I'm going to leave it at the default for right now. So I'm going to click on mask again and now I've got a very soft brush that has a low opacity. So when I paint on this and wipe away the effect, you'll see that it's much more subtle. Got to do this a bunch of times here. There, I'm going to zoom out and show you before and after. So now the effect is being applied at 100% around the edge of the photo but not at all in the middle of the photo and that's because I've wiped away that mask. If I feel like I've wiped away too much I can just go to apply and then just rub my finger back over the areas and just add a little bit more of that artistic effect in there. I think that looks really good. So those are just some of the things that you can do with the masking tool in InLight. Go ahead and experiment, try new things. It's an amazingly powerful tool that will let you do anything you want or anything you can imagine.